a veteran to receive the most worshipful, the Grand Master. opportunity to create a nation in the very essence of Masonic morality. It would be wonderfully symbolic, don't you think? You'll be wanting to put the all-seeing eye on our banknotes next. Hmm. Uh, you, uh, you think I'm taking it a bit far? Please don't ask me questions like that, Brother Franklin. You know I cannot tell a lie. Oh. Oh, come on, Brother Washington. Everybody lies occasionally, surely. Especially politicians. Not me. Not even so much as an alternative fact. <laughs> we must all be aware of fake news. <laughs> the people must be free to think what they like as well. We can have no thought police in our new society. The foundation stone of our new nation built on all those principles that we hold dear. The plans for our new capital city already have a very Masonic feel to them. Yeah. Candidate for initiation into the order, I'm giving them a little introduction into some of our mysteries. These two gentlemen are founding an entire nation built on our principles. There we have great promises for our new nation. You know, I wonder if other presidents after me will also be Freemasons. Many will be. And Freemasonry will become embedded in the American culture. And the eye will appear on the banknotes. Oh, God. These principles will be honored with a gift from your French brethren. A gift that will be a welcoming beacon to the poor and oppressed. This is the statue we are giving you. It's a bit small, isn't it? Oh, this is a maquette. The real thing is bigger. Much, much bigger. I call her Liberty Enlightening the World. Catchy. America will produce a great many great Americans from many different walks of life and many different fields and many will be Masons. Sportsmen, actors, writers, soldiers, filmmakers, businessmen, inventors, astronauts. Uh, what on earth is an astronaut? <laughs> no, they're not. I don't follow. Well, they're not on Earth, they're in space. In fact, Brother Buzz Aldrin was the second man to walk upon the surface of the moon. Now, uh, that's the best thing I've heard this evening. What, that a mason walked on the moon? Man on the moon. Amazing. But don't forget the musicians. Do not forget the musicians. I known as... That rule the three again. The three degrees! <laughs> Freemasonry has burned as a blazing fire through the last three centuries. As permanent master of these three lodges, I now call on my deputy masters. Most Worshipful Grand Master, 
on behalf of the brethren of Royal Somerset House, most worshipful Grand Master, our ceremonies and forever remind us of our incomparable heritage and the birth of organised Freemasonry, stressing the deep and sincere loyalty and affection felt by the brethren of the United Grand Lodge of England for their Grand Master. We live at Royal Albert Hall even more proud of our ancient institution. Most worshipful Grand Master, I humbly ask you to complete the initiation of this worthy candidate for Freemasonry. I hereby read the text of a letter sent today to Buckingham Palace. May it please your majesty. We, the representatives of over 200,000 Freemasons under the United Grand Lodge of England, most respectfully express our continuing loyalty to your majesty's throne and person in this, the 66th year of your long and distinguished reign. His Royal Highness the Duke of Kent as our much loved and greatly respected Grand Master. We humbly thank God for preserving our order and fervently pray his blessings on your majesty so that our royal devotion to your majesty may long continue. Given at the Royal Arbor Hall this 31st day of October, Anno Domini 2017, her majesty has been pleased to reply in the following terms. The Queen has asked me to thank you for your kind letter of royal greetings on behalf of the representatives of the Freemasons under the United Grand Lodge of England, which are being celebrated on the 31st of October at the Royal Albert Hall. Her Majesty appreciated your thoughtfulness in writing as you did. I had the pleasure of meeting 136 Grand Masters visiting from overseas at Freemasons Hall yesterday. Today, though, we are a meeting of more than 4,000 gathered from all around the world, from our own constitution and beyond. When the global Masonic family comes together to celebrate our past and to renew our own pride and confidence in and enthusiasm for Freemasonry. An advocate for the craft all over the world, continuing three centuries of distinguished royal tradition at the very heart of English Freemasonry. To order, brethren! To order, brethren, to see the most worshipful, the Grand Master. Thank <laughs> you. 